Hey there, I'm Kimi from blog.websix.org. In today's video, we are going to learn how to use FileZilla FTP client. So the first step is we go to FileZilla website, which is FileZilla um, Dash project.org and here as you can see you can download them accordingly to your operating system for Windows you can use this button but I'm using Mac OS X so I'm going to click on th this button and then as you can see I can now download it from source for so I'm going to click this this download button and agree and proceed the cookies thing and it will download it immediately so once you download it you're going to open it in your um, downloads which is in your downloads folder or any directory where your computer is set up to so I'm going to move this to trust and then move this FileZilla app to my application and inside my application I'm going to uh, copy this to the doc so by clicking on alt key or holding it and then drag and drop this FileZilla icon in my doc so going to close this uh, downloads site and here is my filezilla.app so I'm going to open it for the first time and maybe it will ask you this so this is filezilla when you open it for the first time you might need to read documentation basic usage uh, instruction and so forth but for now I'm just going to hit OK and uh, let's use this filezilla for this uh, website so here is my this site and let's use it to connect to that uh, server inside a uh, web host so the next step is we want to fill up the host and username and password but not for quick connect but for site manager as you can see now here we have site manager when we just click on that or you go to file and then site manager or even it has a keyboard shortcut as command and s so let's open file manager uh, site manager sorry so inside this site manager dialog box you see that we have no site at the moment let's create new site so fill in the data for your site for example because I'm using this site so I'm going to type in the domain of that site as well 3-info uh, so I'm going to use this site and the host and the other data you can find in your emails once you sign up to your post so I'm using host ghetto so this is my uh, data when I sign up with them you can see I have my control panel uh, URL and username and so forth so to access your FTP you go to control panel or usually it's mostly right is FTP and then dot you domain dot com or dot info it depends on your file uh, domain extension so to make sure you go to your control panel so log into your control panel by clicking that URL and then go to your username so paste in your username there I'm going to copy and paste my username make sure that you don't uh, copy the space and so so it's uh, no space there and then the password is this password also copy it and then paste it here but obviously I changed mine before I create this video so and hit login and then you scroll down and look for files and FTP accounts and here you s will see a lot of FTP accounts here but uh, you can see you can also read the your username here with this uh, uh, human being icon and then go to configure FTP client in the right side and here as you can see we have manual settings that we can use so FTP username we have FTP server this is what we need for host so FTP server is equal to your host so copy that and go back to your FileZilla setting and paste it on the host and make sure that you don't paste this uh, cheaper stuff so cop go back again and copy this paste it there and make sure there is no space and for the port it's mostly uh, empty but if if it if you leave it empty and it doesn't work try 21 and the rest you leave it by default and lock on type we choose on normal and the user is the same for uh, like we lock into your cPanel account so user this is the user and the password same like the password that you used to uh, lock into your cPanel again copy that and go to your FileZilla configuration and paste it here but 
I also change this, remember? I'm going to type in here and then here comments you're going to type in this is how to use 3.info FTP data for example. And the next is advanced. Here in advanced you can browse to your local directory where you install your website. So you remember if you follow along my other tutorials I install my WordPress inside mem folder. So I'm going to browse it and then go to my application and look where my mem is. Mem and then htdocs and then uh, my folder which is blog web 6 local. So I'm going to hit choose and it will automatically fill up the path to your website and the default remote directory here is usually um, slash and public underscore HTML but if you are not sure what it is go back to your cPanel and then go to home and scroll down again until you find files and then file manager click on that button and you might have a mm, lot of domains here but for now I have this domain so I'm going to just click on document root for this domain and hit go and as you can see now I can access my website in the left side this is your path in your web root so as you can see it's home and then slash and then public underscore html this is what we need so as you can see slash public underscore html so and then you can see the web host here so now the next is then we can uh, click on connect and then it will connect you to your web host as you can see I have exactly the same here this is the inside my cPanel and this is inside my file Silla, where I can see what files I have there in my uh, web host so uh, this is the uh, file my installation uh, uh, locally that I also have here so a small example, let's uh, now upload this kind of file silatas.html to this uh, directory. So I'm going to hide everything behind my file sila. So, okay, so let's upload it. To upload it, you're going to select that file locally in your computer and then go to drag and drop it here. Just drop it here and because I already have one in my site, it will ask you to override it or skip or rename or anything. I'm going to override it for now and that's why I'm going to hit OK. So there it is my filezilla test.html which is sitting there and uh, to edit it let's say we want to edit this file so we're going to uh, select this filezilla test.html and right click it and then hit on view or edit it will then uh, either ask you with what uh, text editor you want to edit it if you um, use it really for the first time. I use it already in my other uh, user account that's why it doesn't ask me that. That's why it direct me to this uh, browser but if uh, it asks you default editor then choose your default text editor. But for now as you can see it direct me to this uh, Chrome because I open HTML usually with Chrome. So let's open this tab and minimize Chrome. We go back to files like in and we don't want that. We want to edit it with a text editor. That's why we need to go to FileZilla and hit on preferences or comment and comma for the shortcut and it will open you the settings. We go down until we see file editing and here as you can see it says that do not use default editor. So let's open it uh, with use custom editor. Click on that and browse on your uh, text editor. I'm using my text editor so application and I'm using um, let's say I'm using sublime for now so sublime and then open it and then as you can see now I have this. If I'm going to leave it like now it will not work so I'm going to copy this and go to file tab association and then here I'm going to paste it in there so as you can see now it is here uh, custom file type association but I want now to open HTML so I'm going to HTML at on the um, on the beginning of this word wording and then going to hit OK and going to right click it in and then view or edit and reopen local file and then it will open sublime for me. So as you can see it has only this text so let, let's open it in our web uh, 
our site. So it was slash and file zilla test.html, this URL. And as you can see, it has um, only this file zilla text, exactly this one. So let's move it to, let's change it to something else. For something like href, for example, and then um, http uh, www.blog dot web six dot org for example and then um, uh, my blog okay and then closing this uh, a tag okay and let's save it I save already and let's go back to filezilla and any files that you edited it will ask you that if you want to upload it back to your server and I will say yes then it will be transferred and let's refresh our site here and as you can see I have now my blog link and when I click it, it will go to my website. So that's how you edit uh, files in FileZilla and if you want to delete it, just right click it and then delete. So I'm going to delete it, delete and yes. Okay, so that's how you use FileZilla and um, I hope it will be helpful. So thank you for watching and take care of yourself. Goodbye.